Good morning, this is Jibo, and we are here with a beta of 4.0 from 2013. We are going to put uh, protection from dust in the front fork, which is this, and uh, we are going to oversee what we, we want to do without studying and studying. First, without studying. This is a work breakdown structure of what would be our idea for this servicing without uh, taking into account the manuals and the uh, information from the web. So, what I imagine I have to uh, boost the bike in a central man uh, manner, so under the engine. Then, the question is to remove the front wheel or the entire front end. In this case, we have to remove the wheel. Otherwise, if you have to remove the, uh, the front, we will remove the axis. So the question is, uh, if we want to uh, amount the wheel and forks as a complete unit, we have to amount all the front end in one piece. Otherwise, if you want, if you want to disassemble the uh, part of the fork, which are the stanchions, we have to remove the wheel axis, the wheel, and then the fork. Then there is the question of the brake fluid pipe connection. So shall we remove the connection of the uh, brake fluid or we have to remove the entire caliper and uh, uh, disconnect it from uh, the bottom part of the fork. Then we have to free the fork pipes which are the stanchions and fit the cover and lock with clamps. So let's go to check in our CD uh, delivered by Beta with the motorbike and uh, we are going to search for uh, any advice about the fork. Okay, here we have our homework corrected. So first thing, there is a name for this protection which is Gator. Then central booster, we have this on mate and we will bust the bike from the engine in uh, the center of gravity to uh, hang it from uh, <clears throat> the central point and uh, get free the, the front end. Then the strategy issue. So it's impossible to remove the front end in one piece if you are alone without help and uh, it would uh, damage maybe the clamps of uh, the yoke which is uh, the part of the bike uh, where uh, the <coughs> stanchions are locked. So the strategy will be remove the wheel and then each stanchion of the fork. So this is not good. This is good. Then about brake fluid and connection. It's better to remove the caliper uh, without unconnecting this because uh, uh, otherwise you have to uh, get the air from the system. Then to free the front pipes, which are the stanchions, to get them free, we have to loosen up the uh, yoke clamps. And then fit the cover, okay, and lock with uh, clamps, which are the plastic ones. First thing is uh, to loosen up the axle of the front wheel which is a thing we have to do without uh, busting the bike because we need uh, the load on the front wheel. 
So we will remove the axle with an with an allen key of uh, 10 millimeters. But first we have to loosen the clamp. There are two here. And then the main, main axis. So, in order to measure, then uh, Holland key for uh, the clamps and then for the main axle. So, I lift the bike from uh, this central buster, but the effect is this. So, the wheel, the front wheel, is touching uh, <coughs> the bottom so uh, we have to put it in a different way in order to let all the weight to stay in this buster and in the rail wheel okay, now we <coughs> move forward the buster and the, there is a space here so the front is lift without touching the bike, so we have the weight all in our three points. You can remove the axe now. You can remove the front wheel. Paying attention on the mouth guard. Now we have to remove the caliper, but a mistake has been not to loosen up the two screws before lifting the bike. Caliper off our end way with this belt. We ensure the caliper to the main part of the bike, so we have the way free here. In this moment, we could release and unmount the <coughs> assembly of the two forks. In one piece but it would be a mistake because uh, there is no brace here no rigid connection only the mouth guard which is flexible it's plastic so if we would do that the mouth guard would break here removing the mouth guard is one thing we should have done before Here we go. There are two spacers here in the screw of the mouth guard, so we put them with the pins inside their holes in order not to forget them while assembling. Here are the screws of uh, the clamps of the yoke. Uh, there is a problem on the screws in uh, uh, the bottom yoke because uh, we <coughs> couldn't uh, loosen them with uh, this key. So, uh, in order not to damage them, it would be better to use uh, this kind of pipe tool. We better have done that before and before removing the wheel. So, this, this is another mistake. To remove the key, the, the screws safely, we had to loosen the caliper because uh, we needed to rotate the handlebar. So.
So at the end, the screws are unscrewed and we can uh, release the, the stankions. Now we have to try to loosen the stankion and if we are not able to, we can use a, a spacer here in the gap of the clamp of the top and bottom yoke. In this case, it's possible without inserting the spacer. So we have our or stankion almost free always take care of the of the bike the last part is a little bit hard so you can lubricate and now we have our stankion free Now the big hole, the big diameter has to go in the bottom because it has to copy uh, this part, which is the bottom part of uh, the fork. And then, and then we have to take care about the orientation because this. Uh, part has to be in the external side we will put the plastic clamps for uh, locking the, the stankions afterwards after the long time and uh, let's go in the reverse side the reverse operation <laughs> is tricky and the uh, bottom yoke so we are going to measure the gap in order to consider to put a, a spacer with the spacer better to remove the two screws and uh, insert it into the clamp we need a bigger one or better we need this in order to make a leverage so this way and then trying okay so making a leverage it's possible Now we are the top yoke and now it's easier okay okay we are halfway because now it's only reassembly so things we needed measurement Allen key six Allen key ten axle of the wheel wheel thirteen millimeters key eight millimeters for the locking of the calipers this is a ten millimeters and then eight millimeters key pipe for the mud guard and then to release uh, the hose clamps of the top and bottom yoke 10 millimeters but better use the pipe one here are the screws which are a little bit damaged so it would be better to replace them before reassembly and then we used the 
this this tool to screwdriver to uh, make more space in the clamps and uh, insert better the stanchions before removing the right one let's check which is the measure of uh, the outgoing part of the stanchion which is uh, as a matter of fact it's a question of uh, one millimeter so that is the measure which affects the fundamental cyclistic measures on the front end which is the trail the trail is affected by the caster angle so by changing the position of uh, the stanchion for example taking it a little bit outwards the caster would be reduced and uh, also the trial which is uh, worse for the stability of the bike it's better for the <clears throat> handling but uh, of course there is a mix between the two factors which we cannot change uh, in a, a bike from production so let's uh, let's go with the second and remember this out of the way now we have both on Just a light screwing of, of the screws because there is no point on regulating the correct torque while we have not the wheel, the front wheel. While mounting the front wheel, do not forget the bearings, which have to be in, in series with the main axle in terms of order of operation because this is a parallel structure the main axis and the bearings works in a parallel system okay just get the axle into its place and without giving the right torque we can free the bike and uh, ensure it in its better way of uh, standing. Now we can screw even the right torque and uh, the safety screws here. So now the caliper is done with our the connection, the cables and uh, pay attention on the order of the washers and the axe of uh, the caliper. Okay, now we are done. Here we are for the experience section. So, what we learned by this uh, adventure happening. So, first thing, is uh, loosen all the screws, uh, both wheel ones and yoke before busting the bike because uh, we have both the charges of the front and the rear wheel holding the bike very well. So, this is the most important thing. Then, the caliper out of arm way. So, uh, you ha we have to fix it 
to <coughs> to stop it in a, uh, close to the frame in order not to let let it to get into our way so then uh, finally the clamps we couldn't put them on the fork because uh, these were too short I mean this the diameter is okay but uh, uh, while you are going to close you are going to lose some uh, trail so it's better to me measure this diameter in comparison with the one of the stanchions okay uh, from G voice all I liked it very much to do this and goodbye